Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. You know, it depends on what part of the country, the town, or the United States where you are watching and viewing. We want to welcome you to this edition of Sister Strengthening Sisters Talk Show. I'm Lady D, along with my co-host, Dr. Lois L. Today, we have some exciting things to talk about. As you know, the last time that we were all together, we were telling you about the event that we had, How Well Do You Know Your Mate? <laughs> well, I want the ladies to know <laughs> we killed it. We got them, y'all. They, they, you know, they're still a little sore right now because, you know, we knew them a little bit better. But I told you we were going to win, and yes, the ladies did win. But I want to say, <laughs> yeah, uh, probably uh, Pastor E was the only one that wasn't a sore loser, and, and, and maybe my husband, uh, Minister Britt. But I want to say thank you to the Zettlers, to um, Pastor E and Jamie, to my hubby, uh, Minister Kevin Britt, also to Tangi and Wesley, they were so funny. He was just, her husband was so funny. He just said, you know what? Every time a question was asked, just give me a zero. Just give me a zero. Um, the Mumfords, Byron Mumford is always the, the funniest person at the party. I'm telling you, he fell out on the floor. He was like, honey, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. He threw his papers up in the air. I'm telling you, these men were hurt because they lost. Also to the Smiths, Eddie and Shanine, I have never seen someone suck up so much as Eddie Smith Jr. did. He went around and collected everything off of every table <laughs> and said, here, honey, this is for you. This is for you. This is for you. I'm telling you, the, they were really, really sore. But we had so much fun. Also, um, to Abdul and to Tiffany. You know, Abdul was quiet, but Tiffany... She was having herself a, a really good time. And I think we had a really good time it all together. Fun. You know, it was fun. It was fun. Um, everybody had a good time. It was out of love. Uh, the questions, I thought the questions were good but questions. They were good questions. And I want to commend you on doing such an awesome job, you know, just asking the questions to them and getting it all together. So we had a wonderful time. We did. We had a good time. Okay. We have to have a part two. Yeah, oh, we definitely, now they want a part two because now they're going to study their wives a little bit more. So maybe they'll win on part two on the second time. But I just wanted to say congratulations to everyone that came out for that event at Cousin Mario's. Um, Cousin Mario, thank you guys so much. They have um, allowed for us to travel with two other couples um, all the way to Florida to take a honeymoon, something we haven't never done because we're always working and working and working. And we're going to actually take off a week. I don't know how I'm going to act being off for a week, but we are definitely taking a week coming real soon. So to Cousin Mario's, kudos goes out to you. And we thank you so much for that. Also, coming up real soon, we have something that yes, the church is yes, going to be doing. Yes, we do. The Westminster Christian Worship Center will be having our annual fellowship conference March the 10th through the 15th, 2019. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, March the 10th at 4.30 p.m., we will be having Pastor Ronald S. Walker, mm -hmm. Kingdom Building Ministries, Vining, New Jersey. On Wednesday, March the 13th at 7.30 p.m., we will be having Pastor Leroy Nebit III, Emmanuel United Pentecostal Church, Camden, New Jersey. And on Friday, March the 15th at 7.30, we will be having Bishop Joel Adams, awesome. Temple of Love Christian Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then on Saturday, March the 16th at 9.30 a.m., we will be having our annual fellowship prayer breakfast at the Sheraton Hotel and Convention Center, One Miss America Way, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Our musical guests will be committed to Christ, St. Louis, Missouri, gospel wow. duo Duncan and Rachel, yeah. and our guest preacher will be Bishop T 
T.L. Penny of Shabak World Cathedral, Sumster, South Carolina. And this year recipient of the Westminster Christian Center Award will be Cody, Career Opportunity Development Incorporated Disability Services. Donations of $50 in advance and $60 at the door. Wow. And if you've okay, ever I'm been to be one of our fellowship breakfasts, we just have an awesome time just yes. praising God yes. every year. You know, and I hear it every year. I don't know how you all going to top it this year, right. but every year God just shows up and I mean, just does above and beyond. So come out and be a part. Um, I guarantee you will be blessed. We don't keep you all day long. We're normally done by 12, one at the most. And it's going to be awesome because mm -hmm. we are going to even be doing the red carpet. Yes. I'm sure that Trish is going to be there with me to take your place since you're <laughs> going to be at the door. And I'm just throwing it out there to Trish because she's such a great person for doing red carpet events. So we're going to be doing a red carpet interviewing mm -hmm. people and, you know, talking to them, asking them how they feel about coming to this mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful breakfast. I mean, I've had the opportunity to come for a few years, and each time that I came, I enjoyed myself. It was really awesome, and it's wonderful to see people that you haven't seen in a long time, mm -hmm. you know, just networking mm -hmm. and mingling and just fellowship. Right. It's, it's just an awesome fellowship. It really is. We just have a good time. And last year, well, you know, my post, I'm normally on the door because that's my post. Yes. And um, last year, the people were starting to leave and we were fortunate to have uh, Rance Allen come. Yes. And if you've yes. ever heard him sing, when he started Ooh. singing, everybody, everybody turned around and ran to the stage. And Rance <laughs> Allen, he, he's just awesome. He is one of my husband's favorite artists. Oh, so. I love him. So we're just, we're going to have a good time. So come on and be a part it's it's going to be awesome another thing that's coming up saturday um april the 27th is the women of excellence award and we're going to be having that at the great bay country club in summers point new jersey you want to get your tickets now um, the tickets are 55 dollars and we're going to be honoring and celebrating 16 awesome, awesome women throughout the community. Uh, we're going to, next time we do Sisters Talk Show, we are going to let you know who all of these beautiful young ladies are, but they have done wonderful things for their community, in their community, and things, are, you know, in their church and around their town. So we're going to be letting you know who they are. And this is our fourth annual one. Mm -hmm. Each year it just gets better and better. And I, I am just so proud to be doing this event. It's going to be at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So come out, join us as we honor and celebrate the excellence and achievement among our women. Brothers, we didn't forget about you. We're going to be telling you real soon about the brothers, too, because we do have one called the Distinguished Men of Culture Award. Mm -hmm. So we'll be letting you know more about that event also and you know it's a beautiful thing when we can get together and just celebrate each other yes the bible tells us to give honor where honors do and if we can just come together and just celebrate each other you know we we strengthen each other we uplift each other mm -hmm. and this has been i think my third year with you yes. and it's just a beautiful event to be a part of, to see that we can get together yes. without, you know, the jealousy and the competition and mm -hmm. say, hey, we see what you're doing yes. and we just want to celebrate you and we just want to encourage you in your ministry because we all need encouragement. And, and that's what that's one of the reasons why they're so excited, because they get to see that they are encouraged. You know, somebody sees something that they're doing. Right. And I've always had that thing that I believed in, that you should always celebrate people while they're alive. Right. When they're gone, they can't see you what you're doing. They can't see that you appreciated them. They need to know it now while they're here, while they're alive, right. while they can appreciate it, you know, while they can be encouraged, while they can see what it is that, you know, someone else sees and see that they're making a difference 
in someone else's life. So yeah, and that, that your event labor, is awesome. Right, and that your labor is not in vain. Right, right. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm going to always enjoy that event. It's always exciting. We don't know what we're going to do to make it much more different than last year, but we just know that God shows up every year and just shows out. Another thing is you still have a little bit of time to get on board for that three-day conference, July 12th to the 15th. That's the Sister Strengthening Sisters Conference. It is our 11th conference, and this year we're going to be doing it on the cruise. Yes, come and cruise with us. We're going to be leaving from the beautiful port of Miami, cruising to the island of Perfect Day, Nassau, Bahamas, Coco Cay, and all of these are in the Bahamas, so... We're going to have a good time. We're going to have an all-white um, party that night, an all-white theme mm -hmm. for the evening. We're going to have some women that are going to be talking about their books and, you know, just sharing some different things that they're doing. But most of all, I'm going to probably stay inside that jacuzzi because <laughs> that's going to be a rest that I really do need. But come on board with us. Um, all you have to do is put down $100. That'll hold your cabin. And then you have to have your room paid off by April. So make sure that you book your room with someone that you can trust and that you love and care about because it's based on double occupancy, two per room. And we're going to have a good time on that cruise. We're going to go down there a day early because right. we want to make sure we're going to be there and, and have mm -hmm. a good time the day before. And then we're going to stay a day after because we need to rest before we come back home. Right, <laughs> right. So we're, we're going to have Because awesome we're always time. working. So whenever we find the time to be able to do things like this, it's, it's just a wonderful Good thing, thing for us mm -hmm. to do. Um, today we have a, an amazing, amazing woman of God. Um, who is our guest for today on um, Sister Strengthening Sisters talk show. She is well known in the area, have been doing ministry for a very long time. And as you know, some of you may know and have seen some of the um, t uh, shows that we've done. Earlier uh, in the month, we had a couple of young ladies mm -hmm. and they were the younger version of first ladies mm -hmm. but today we have a seasoned first lady and we're going to let um, Dr. L tell you more about that. Yes it's an honor for me to introduce my beautiful mother in the gospel Pastor Lady Dr. Juanita Witherspoon. Pastor Lady Juanita Witherspoon Doctor of Divinity is a native of North Carolina. She began singing at the age of four with her mother Mother Emma Torrance in the cotton fields of North Carolina. She has been a resident of New Jersey for over five decades. Pastor Lady Dr. Juanita Winderspoon is co-founder of the Westminster Christian Worship Center in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and has been in ministry with her husband, Bishop Luke Witherspoon Sr. for 42 years. Mm. Pastor Lady Juanita Witherspoon is the first vice president of the winner of the Miss of the Minister's Wives and Widows Association of South Jersey, and she is a member of the Fellowship of Churches of Atlantic City and Vicinity. Pastor Lady Juanita Witherspoon has been a songwriter. In 1984, she wrote and recorded with the Westminster Evangelistic Choir and the late Reverend Isaac Douglas, May My God Can Do Anything. Pastor Lady Juanita Witherspoon retired in 2016 from the City of Atlantic City Tax Office after 27 years of service as a data entry operator. Pastor Lady Juanita Witherspoon is a graduate of Atlantic Cape Community College and in 2016 received a Doctrine of Divinity from the City of Hope Bible College. Pastor Lady Juanita has been married to Bishop Luke Witherspoon for 56 years. She is a mother, great-grandmother, grandmother, and a great-grandmother. <laughs> Pastor um, Juanita Witherspoon received a congressional salutation from the Congressman Frank Lobito, Lobiondo for many years of Christian community service. In addition, she has received numerous awards. Her motto is from the song entitled, If I Can Help Somebody As I Travel Along, Then My Living Shall Not Be In Vain. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory for the things he has done and continues to do in the life of Pastor Lady Dr. Juanita Witherspoon. 
Amen. Praise God. Let's and welcome, welcome Pastor, welcome. to Sister Strengthening Sisters. It is going to be, this is going to be an awesome, awesome interview, just having you come yes. back to visit with us again. Um, some of the things that we asked the, the, uh, the younger mm -hmm. uh, first ladies was, what is the real position of a first lady and where did first lady come from? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the word first lady come from being the wife of a leading minister mm -hmm. or pastor, mm -hmm. mostly of churches. Okay. That's the uh, word of first ladies, the word first lady came from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what was the other question? And the next question is, what is the role? What is, what is your role to your husband as a first lady, and then we'll come back and say, what is the, your role to the church as a first lady? My role as a first lady to my husband is to know what lane I'm in, Amen. and I'm the, I stay in my lane, I yes. promise you. <laughs> um, to pray for him, mm -hmm. uh, to pray and fast, mm -hmm. uh, that God will use him for his glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, as to the husband. Okay. As a seasoned first lady, um, a lot of times we hear, and a lot of times you hear from the younger women, and we, um, I'm going to be married to a pastor, mm -hmm. or I'm going to marry a bishop, or I'm going to be a first lady, I'm going to be a pastor's wife, but not understanding everything that comes with that. Right. And as we said earlier, when we had the younger ladies on, it's more than sitting on the first pew with the pretty hat on and in nice suits. Absolutely. So can you expound a little bit on that for us? Well, let me see. <laughs> um, first of all, it's when, when your husband is called, believe it or not, and Bishop Witherspoon did explain this to me, that you have a calling also. Yes. And uh, it's not to lead, it's not to uh, walk in behind him, but to walk beside him. Mm -hmm. And uh, his role, uh, what were you saying? Yeah. I was saying it's found on the things that come with being a first lady. Mm -hmm. It's so much. I know. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, it's so much. You can't go and get a degree in this. Right. Amen. Uh, <laughs> you have to pray and seek the Lord, I yes, promise you. Yes. <laughs> Because I don't, all those degrees were honorary degrees. Right. I did not go to school mm -hmm. for those degrees, but they were honorary for the work that I've done mm -hmm. and uh, in the community. And um, it's just a role that uh, it would take me quite some time to tell you. Mm -hmm. First of all, you got to know who you are. That's right. number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. You got to know who you are, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that after 56 years of marriage, Mm -hmm. that I know who I am. Mm -hmm. If not, I better know who I am. <laughs> and um, it, it's, it's, it's been a wonderful life. I can't see it being dreadful. Mm -hmm. You go through a lot of things, a lot of sacrifices, mm -hmm. a lot of sacrifices. Uh, he doesn't have to make as much sacrifices as he did when we had the children. We, had, we have six adult children. Right. And um, they were also a part of the ministry, and mm -hmm. they still are. And, um, but it, it's a, it, it's a role that you got to pray. You have to pray. Now I'm serious. And as I had said earlier, it is actually, it's a call on your life yes. because God knew who your husband was going to be before you knew. And so, I didn't pray for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of the first lady said right. that, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but it's actually a call and you have to be willing to accept that call yes. in order to do all the things that comes with being in that position and i think that's a lot of uh that's a lot of what uh we, we don't understand as women because as you know my last husband was a pastor mm -hmm. so i had the opportunity to be in that position for a short period of time of course it's a short period of time compared to the number of years that you right. have been a first lady and a mother and then really learning everything that comes with that and you have it has to be a call in order for you Anything you do in ministry, you have to make sure that you have been called into yes. it. Yes. Because if you have not been called 
to that minute, you know, to that position, you will not be able to handle that position and everything that goes with it that we don't see. Yes. You know, as you said, there was a whole lot of sacrificing. There was a whole lot of pain that went with that too through the years. You could probably expound on that. There was a whole lot of hurt that you had to endure in that position. Now we know that you're also mother with this womb. <laughs> so let's talk about it from the mother's aspect. The, a church and mother. And does that mean it being that's like being everybody's mother in a church or those that don't have a mother, you know, being their mother mm -hmm. or just um, as a mother, that nurturing ability to, you know, be that mother for those that really do need a mother, whether they're young, old, it doesn't matter, man, woman, whoever that might come to you that might need that mothering support? Well, I try to be an example. I try to um, uh, exemplify, mm -hmm. uh, because it used to be, uh, getting to this, it used to be with the young people in that uh, back generation that they were without fathers mm -hmm. the, and um, the, they had broken homes. Mm -hmm. right. So every time around dinner time, now, we already had six. They would want to come and eat. And, and we have grown men today that talk about the spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> because I had to pray and ask the Lord for wisdom on how to feed all of those young people. Right. Mm -hmm. They would always come at dinner time. <laughs> and uh, some way, somehow, we were able, and I came up with the spaghetti. Right. And they said I would make giant spaghetti and meatballs. And if you would meet one of them today, they would talk to you about it. Because I had to feed them and just, just be there for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had uh, young people that uh, committed, tried to commit suicide. Uh, mm -hmm. We talk about committing suicide. Mm -hmm. And uh, you would have to just try. I would just talk so much until I'd be tired. I said, Lord, what should I say next? Wow. And uh, it was many things that I said because I got tired at mm -hmm. times because you do get tired. Yes, but yeah. I want to say, too, it's not a glamour situation. Right. Mm -hmm. What some people think, oh, I want to be married to a bishop. And they, they, want, they want the glamour. Right. But they don't want to sacrifice. Right. And the work. They don't want to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, when that money is going uh, into the ministry. Mm -hmm. And you've done without. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think God has something called delayed gratification. Amen. And I don't regret one moment of it. There were suffering times. Uh, the people that you do mostly for, they're the ones that end up leaving. Yes. And, yes. Uh, you know, take them out for coffee and all. you got to take out some time for yourself. That's right. And uh, at that time, we didn't know, but it, we were younger, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's so much that I could not dare say publicly. Right. Uh, I should write a book. Yes. I wouldn't even yes. know how to get started in writing a book. Uh, but I remember one time when I, he had one suit and I had one dress. And one pair of shoes, but I can't say that now. I that. know that's right. I've seen all I those I can't hats, say that uh, shoes, now, but books. it's been uh, all glory and honor to God, even through the suffering, the pain, mm -hmm. yes. the heartaches, mm -hmm. the disappointments that all come with it. Mm -hmm. And you got to be someone made up and wrapped tied and tangled up in Jesus. Right. You know, and as I said earlier, know who you are. And uh, know your place and uh, know when to move and know right. when not to move. Yes. Uh, that all comes along with it. And uh, love each other. You got to love each other. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we never had a fist fight when we came home from church. Amen. And Amen. when I came back from church the next day, <laughs> I wouldn't have to say I walked in the door. Right, right. right. But uh, you got to love one another, you got to care for one another. When he's going forth, you have to pray for him, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, sometimes you t feel like telling them what to do and how to do, but you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. now if they ask you, then that's your opportunity to go forth and uh, let him know. But it's just working together, loving one another. Because you first, like I say, you have to be, when he's called, you're called, but you just have to know how to handle it. Right. And the scripture said that uh, in Proverbs... Uh, he that lack wisdom, 
you know, you got to ask of the Lord. Right. So I pray, I prayed every day for wisdom. I'm still praying for wisdom Amen. on how to work with people. We, it used to be gigantic, but now it's down to a small number. Right. But right. you still have to do right. your role unto Jesus Christ. And in all, he will get the glory. Amen. And now how was it raising six children in one household? Because I know things were just like so rough at that time, mm -hmm. you know, um, trying to make money, trying to do ministry, you know, tr trying to work at, you know, working at the church and then raising six children. Absolutely. Well, my husband always had a business where he cleaned buildings, mm -hmm. uh, the unemployment office in Pleasantville, the base building on Arkansas Avenue. So they were a part of that. And I'm telling you the truth. They all graduated from high school, Amen. every one of them. But they had to do that. Then they were a part of the choir. Uh, they were a part of the entire ministry. Mm -hmm. And they, they would do their homework, and uh, they would pass their tests. Right. God was just with them. And back in the day, we stayed in church. It all depends yes. on who we had. Uh, we were in church till like 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now, nobody stays in church like that. <laughs> but they were a part of it. Work right. with it. Young people draw young people. Right. So we, right. we had six. We have six. And it was musicians. Now, and yeah, <laughs> one's a musician. <laughs> well, several uh, of them minister. Uh, they minister. We have one son that's a pastor of a church. Uh -huh. We have one of our sons that stated before was a musician who travels the country periodically. Yes. And um, singers. Yes, yeah, singers. And uh, <laughs> they were just a part of it. And we prayed. Right. We prayed. We prayed together. So a family that prays together stays, stays together. together. Amen. So it's not only what you see when you get out among the public, but it's a lot have to go on before you get, you get to church. Right. And they went through a lot of rebukes. And uh, but they worked with their dad because I believe they loved him, and I believe that they loved the Lord mm -hmm. because it's a lot of children don't work with their uh, fathers, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. but uh, they they yet do, mm -hmm. they yet do work in ministry, and uh, they haven't always been in ministry. All of them. I had one to tell me that they were sick of Atlantic City, and they moved. But they're back now right, because right. prayer brought them back. Amen. Amen. And, and that's a vital part of ministry. And being a mother right. is to pray. Pray according to God's word without ceasing. That's right. And that's what happened then. And so I believe that uh, we know who we are in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And what all God has done and is doing, even in the midst in the latter years, we say to God, be the glory for all of the things that he has done. But uh, if I was to go in some of it, you would sit here and you cry. Mm -hmm. But God don't want us to make anyone feel sorry for us. But we got to work while it is day. Right. Because when night comes, if no man can work. Mm -hmm. So all of the hats that you see now, it wasn't always that way. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can say to God, be the and I grew with the ministry. In mm -hmm. the uh, years that he's been, I grew with the ministry and one older mother, a well-known mother out of Philadelphia, and uh, she told me, she said, while the ministry is growing, you grow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we had to rebuke mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't like it, but some, they still call me mother. Mm -hmm. right, they right. still call me mother. And uh, well, mother, I just praise God. Mother has always had that nurturing yes. spirit because I was 16 years old. You know that mm -hmm. when I came to the church many years mm -hmm. ago. And she's always had that nurturing spirit. I was pretty broken back then. Wow. And I believe she picked, you picked up on that. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming in and just this woman of God with this loving spirit. And I remember I sat all the way in the back of the church mm -hmm. because I did not want to be seen. Wow. But Bishop saw me. Mm -hmm. And he called me up to the altar <laughs> the first time I came. <laughs> and I came up to the altar and he called up Sister Smiley. He called up Tammy's mother and he said, give her a hug. Wow. And she gave me a hug and I just started crying because he knew I needed a hug. I really did. He prayed with me. He said, God is going to fix it. I remember the first time you asked me out to eat with you all. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling you I didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying, well, you don't need any money. So mother has always been just like she is now. She's still that same beautiful woman to me that I met at 16. Now, growing up in the church like I did, the mothers taught 
the young ladies. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the roles of the mothers and the first ladies teaching the young ladies how to be young ladies, wow. what to wear, how we were supposed to sit. I remember running around with the safety pins and they would pin up that slit, if, you know, that split <laughs> if it was too high. They would pin this up. They would wipe your face if you had on too much makeup. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but you can't do that today. No, you can't. They don't accept it. They that. don't accept it. No, they I was going to say that. It. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I watch as well as pray. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I have to say that's a little too tight. Oh, yeah. Uh, but they said, you know, God is not looking at that. He's looking <laughs> at your heart. But what is in your heart rings on the outside. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, you just have to be, it's, we, Bishop said, we're living in a different time mm -hmm. and a different generation. Mm -hmm. Same God, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you. But you grow yeah, up and you learn. You, today. you yeah. grow up, mother, and you learn to appreciate that. Yes. Right. That they taught us how to carry ourselves. Oh, yeah. Because I can remember my mom putting a book on my head mm -hmm. and having me walk back and forth. And I remember feeling so silly mm -hmm. walking with that book. But she would say, You have to learn how to walk like a young lady. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not a boy, so you don't walk like a boy. You walk like a young lady. And we just thought they were overdoing it <laughs> back I, then. I, I tried the book thing too. I was like, No, it's too much. <laughs> Too much, too much dead. Yeah, the I book thing too. ain't even gonna work for me. <laughs> right. I can't do this book thing. But you know, I was mm -hmm. glad, uh, appreciated that they taught us how to be young ladies. ladies. Well, you can, mm -hmm. uh, you can have sessions. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I was over when we had a lot over the women, mm -hmm. and uh, there were sessions. There were different things that you taught and mm -hmm. what you do, and that all has its place, and it still works today. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you have somebody to teach, but right. many were called, right. and many sent, were sent, and, and some went. Well, you know, and sometimes a mother, because you know I taught school for several years, mm -hmm. I would look at the young ladies, and I would say, God is so sad. I mm -hmm. said, because somewhere the ball was dropped. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, somewhere they weren't taught the right. way we were taught. Right. And I tell Thelma that all the time, Evangelist Thelma, of course, is her daughter. And I said, you know, Thelma, the mantle has been placed to us. Mm -hmm. Now we have to go out there and we have to try to teach them yeah. the way that we were taught. Mm -hmm. Because it's sad sometimes, not just our young ladies, but our young men. Mm -hmm. It's right. sad sometimes. I, told, I used to tell the young ladies when I taught school, the young men treat you like that because you accept that. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. we wouldn't dare put up with somebody calling you out your name. And you mm -hmm. answer into it. You know, we wouldn't mm -hmm. dare put up with that. Today it's time. like, it's okay for them. It's to a term that, of endearment. You know? oh. Right. And, and it's not okay. They it's have not to okay. Know that it's mm -hmm. not okay. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, they go along with so much and they accept Absolutely. so much right. today that they, they don't even have their own values. Mm -hmm. You know, is what, uh, okay, if that's what he says and that's what he likes and that's what he want to do, mm -hmm. you know, they mm -hmm. can't even be their own woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they have to go by what other people, their peers are doing, mm -hmm. right. you know, which, which is really sad because like back in the day, you did have those mothers that mm -hmm. cared, mm -hmm. you know, that those mothers that were in church, you knew that when you went to church, you had to act a certain way. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays, mm -hmm. they don't even care how they act, mm -hmm. even in some churches. You have to pray. Mm -hmm. I, keep getting, I can't say enough about prayer, mm -hmm. because even now, you have to pray. Ask the Lord for wisdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they're in, uh, we're living in a different generation. I say mm -hmm. it over and over. And you might see something that you think need to be done right. but uh you have to acknowledge the lord in all of your ways mm -hmm. and he would direct your path that's right so um that's where we are today mm -hmm. in the gospel of jesus christ so mm -hmm. well you know our mothers are truly and our first ladies are truly diamonds and pearls because in order to truly operate the way god will have you to operate you got to go through the fire Yes. I mean, you all have walked through that fire. You have oh, been yeah. refined. You know, God has moved you from glory to glory. Mm -hmm. You've been strengthened. And, and like I said, I was very fortunate to be a child of the church right. and to have very good examples 
You know, even when I strayed, mm -hmm. that foundation was there. And if you laid that foundation, right. they, they might stray, back. but, they but they're going to come back because mm -hmm. the foundation has been laid. And so that's the mantle that has been passed to us. We have to get out and lay the foundation yes. like yes. it was laid for us, for them, so that they will come back to that foundation. Mm -hmm. And your blessings will come in many ways. For laboring, mm -hmm. uh, it, it just comes in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, when I was working for the city, I would have some of the policemen, they would call me mother. That's what they call me. Mm -hmm. Mother Witherspoon, how you doing? And at first I said, what am I? Uh, do I look old? <laughs> uh, but, you know, that was just, that's just something that they did. And a lot of people that I don't even know, or they say, I remember you growing up. Right. And they still call me mother. Mother with a spoon, but that's okay. Sign of respect. <laughs> yeah, the respect so. you have earned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to earn respect. That's, that's one right. thing. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. You, you know. do. You have to earn. And you have to respect yourself and carry yourself with respect if you want someone else to respect exactly. you. And that was one of the exactly. things that the mothers taught us. Exactly. How do you expect someone to respect you? They would say you were acting loose. <laughs> if you out in the street acting loose. Right. <laughs> and right. no man right. wants a woman that's acting loose. Mm -hmm. so, and, so we have to teach the young people to carry yourself with respect. I know when I was in school, I couldn't understand why the girls said I was stuck up, why they said mm -hmm. I was sedity. But it wasn't that I was stuck up in sedity, it was the teachings mm -hmm. that, I, that I was taught to mm -hmm. carry myself with respect. So yeah. what they saw were those teachings that those mothers and their first ladies had poured into me right. and they didn't understand. I was trying to carry myself with respect. Mm -hmm. And again, you gotta get through that route with prayer because so many mm -hmm. young people mm -hmm. today and older people too, they have been abused. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have been abused. So where they, before was little uh, Sally Mae, they came to church and said, yes, ma'am, they're coming from, they, they go through all the things. You have mm -hmm. abuse, you have rapes, mm -hmm. and you got to know at what level. And that only comes through prayer. Mm -hmm. Seeking the Lord while he yet may be found. Yes. Call upon him while it is yet near. Mm -hmm. So uh, like I say, you can't go at things like you think that you mm -hmm. can. But with prayer, we can do all things through Christ Jesus Amen. that strengthens us. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, talk to us about this wonderful event that you have been doing for so many years. Um, it, it, was, it started out as just a um, breakfast, or did it always start out with um, the two nights that you're going to have guest preachers. The yeah. conference. Yeah, well, the first the time we had it, we had it at the Sheraton. I believe we had about 80, 80 people mm -hmm. at the Sheraton. And uh, we had guests out of New York and all. And it's all about bringing people together right. for fellowship. So there's different denominations that come together. Mm -hmm. And I always tell them, by the way, the doors open up at 830. Okay. Because it takes... Uh, about that long and they are moving the hostess to get them into the event so we can start exactly at 9 30. Dr. Thelma's the MC and she starts on time. Yes she does. <clears throat> but it's about bringing people together. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that if the, in the world uh, if they can bring the artists and all together, yes. why can't we as Christians that's mm -hmm. right. bring one another together, the artists? And that's the way uh, we have it in the morning because uh, some well-known preachers have asked to change the date, mm -hmm. like Noel Jones and all. And I said, no, we can't do that because that's the way the Lord gave it to me. Mm -hmm. The word of knowledge gave it to me. Mm -hmm. So we have it in the morning. Um, uh, people say $50 is too much for a breakfast, but let me tell you what that $50 cover, which our bishop have been telling us we need to go up because uh, we, you have to pay for the airfare. You don't have to, but it's just good to be nice. Uh -huh. Their airfare, their, their hotel, room, yeah. uh, the hotel, and you just can't put them anywhere. Uh, then uh, you give them an honorarium, mm -hmm. transportation, and the breakfast. Mm -hmm. Come on, whenever you ever got a went somewhere and get all of that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For $50? Mm -hmm. now, See, you know, and you... people that say that, they, they still have that mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they have not yet been trained that mm -hmm. this is 2019. 2019. Things are different. Things cost money. Right. And you have to pay more money. Because I used to have it in the basement of the church before it burnt on Vermont and Madison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had breakfasts down there. 
but that maybe that's what you want to do. Right. Mm-hmm. But God chose to take them to the hotel mm-hmm. yes. in the morning, oh mm-hmm. my, mm-hmm. and enjoy a wonderful breakfast and, as the world says, a wonderful show. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. It's always an but awesome But it's really program. a service. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I always enjoy the people that are there and, and the, the guest artists that come in also. Mm-hmm. I know Duncan and Rachel. Oh, yes, and they're know, local they're, recording they're awesome. artists. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it, it's going to be a wonderful event. How many years? This is the... Uh, I think Thelma said uh, it might be about about 28 years. That's a lot of years. Wow. Yeah, about 28 20, years. After 28 years, wow. I mean... $50, come on now. Uh, yeah. 28 years. Well, because... it used to be 30 and 35. We moved up a little right. bit. Mm-hmm. But and we then need I'm to sure move in up. the beginning, it started out, you know, nobody was paying nothing, uh-huh. you know, because that's how things start out. And then they have to build. And then as people, more people mm-hmm. come and, and more artists come yeah. and different mm-hmm. people places where you're having the event, you know, you have to pay the money for the places. And the parking mm-hmm. is $5 mm-hmm. at the Sheraton mm-hmm. if you park and walk over mm-hmm. to the hotel. However, if the valley is $25, but if you get there on time, I mean, it because they have other conventions there at right. the Sheraton. Right. Mm-hmm. And if you get there too late, then you're going to get to go park on the street. That uh, parking lot even to get filled up. Yes, it oh, does. Oh, you're at the valley. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. So uh, you, you can park there, but that's not too much to bring people together. And people mm-hmm. are touched and encouraged by the almighty God. They spend more than, they, they you know, waste $50. Hey. I was going to say that. <laughs> if you go see someone else, you would pay 100 or $200. Oh, yeah, well, gladly. You don't, you, don't gladly. Gladly. you don't get a meal <laughs> with it. Gladly. You don't get a meal with it. You definitely don't get a so meal. So it's a joy for time. And yes. we're looking forward mm-hmm. uh, to the Holy Spirit. Uh, Bishop J.T. Penny from Shabbat Ministries. Mm-hmm. She's coming out of Sumster, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, she's well known. You can look up on YouTube. Right. Oh, yeah. And uh, look mm-hmm. on that flyer and see mm-hmm. who we have coming. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, it's just going to be a great time. I'm trying to explain it, but we, you know, when God gives you something, mm-hmm. It's hard to explain it. it you just say, come on out yes. and enjoy the and Lord. But I really have to tell them, and people laugh, it's just not an egg-eating event. Right, right. You know, we have the eggs, the grits, and all of that. But it's just, it's more than that. Mm-hmm. It's more than that. I think Brother Wynn will be there uh, taking pictures, and mm-hmm. you're going to be there with, at the, with the red, red carpet. carpet. Yeah. Now, we never had that before. <laughs> we never had that before. So that's something new and you know you have your vendors uh yeah. uh shereen jerkins mm-hmm. and the different people mm-hmm. uh dr robin uh who is the uh, uh dr robin you know robin hargrove i mean not no. hargrove um uh, more she, yeah more she mm-hmm. wrote a book she would be yes. there with her books and it's just a it's a just a fun eating event good good not a fun now eating, are you still taking vendors are they still looking for vendors uh well i have to count and see how many it is but okay. you know mm. so now that's another thing um we have not gone up on which is 50 dollars mm-hmm. they can eat if they give 50 dollars right they can eat we just don't have the vendors out there okay. and you know we pay for that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's giving everybody a chance exactly mm-hmm. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And, and they make it back. They really do. They make yes. it back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Big time. I, I'm looking forward to it. I know that Trish is looking forward to mm-hmm. it. <laughs> Trish, get your Sunday best out. We'll be on the red carpet, taping it past the E. We don't know what he's doing yet, but if we can get him in there. That'll be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he'll come out, and we're just going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, so Pastor, what's next? Can we expect a CD from you or a book? Well, actually, 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 <laughs> uh, Bubby Fan, Beyond and Praise, mm-hmm. he's a producer, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, he has been asking us to record. So, I don't know. We may come out with something this year sometime. Uh, okay. I think it's time. Asking, I think know. it's definitely time for you to come out and, and do that CD. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. And, and that book. Yes. And that and that book. And Pastor, you have written several songs. Oh yeah. Now the song that you sung at the reunion. Remind me, what was the name of the song you sung at the reunion? You actually wrote that song. Oh, my God can do anything. My God can do anything. I didn't know you wrote that song. I heard mm -hmm. it before, but I didn't know you wrote that. Yeah, I do, I do a little something, something. Okay, so she's a songwriter, recording mm -hmm. artist, mm -hmm. a multi-gifted woman in God. And Bubby Fan is an awesome, so pretty, amazing yes. producer. producer. Mm -hmm. He is, he's the, he, if anybody's going to get it to come alive, yeah. he's the one to get with. And then we would have a strain of uh, probably of musicians because my grandson, mm -hmm. he uh, was up for number, uh, another Grammy, uh, Grammy, Grammy nominee. Yes. He didn't win yet, but, uh, that's all but right. uh, he was nominated mm -hmm. and he, uh, he would also be working along with the uh, Bubby. Bubby and uh, my son Marcus, Marcus yeah. and uh, so they would just all have to come together and get it together. And, mm -hmm. But maybe this year, before the year is out, it's mm -hmm. a lot of work. And then yeah. you have to get everybody and bring them together. You know, right, right. it's not when they were young like before. All right, we're gonna do this workshop for a week and we're gonna <laughs> record. Yeah. So we want you here, but now you get to go along with people's schedule. Right, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. And maybe you'll throw a spoken word in there so I can be in it. Because <laughs> I don't have to give the song. <laughs> but I'll always be there supporting. You yes, know, that will yes. always be there supporting. Mm -hmm. And your book, you, um, you were saying about writing your book, all you have to do is just start writing stuff down. It right. can be in just a um, regular notebook, just start writing stuff down mm -hmm. and then um, get someone to edit it for you. Right. And then that's how you get your book out there. Okay. And that <laughs> book would be such an encouragement, a blessing. I can yes. just imagine mm. that. So All the things that you didn't, weren't able to say today. Right. <laughs> you could definitely say in your book. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Well, Pastor, thank you yes. for being a part. I tell you. You're fam, welcome. Just so much we could say. But I guess we would be here all night long. Mm -hmm. So thank you. But we you, certainly appreciate, you know, mm -hmm. you sharing with us all thank the information you. that you did share with us mm -hmm. as a first lady. And if anyone wanted any personal information, I could do it one on one by the grace of God. Amen. Right? Amen. Yeah. All on there. You know what I mean? Right, right. We Amen. understand. We understand that. Well, we're, you know, we're living in a time where God needs authentic people. Oh, yeah. You know, and you've heard me real. say this over and over again. It's too much compromising yeah. that's going on and uh, too much of going through the left. And so we have to get back and to get in the place God has called us to be yes. and to be able to have what that Holy Ghost boldness or like we used to say, like the old saints had it, mm. you know what I mean? Because it's, it's too much straying away. It's too much turning away and mm. too much of, Oh, well, this is okay to do. No, it's not because you know, all Satan needs is a little niche oh, right. yeah. to, you know, and then once he gets that little niche, he just goes on and on mm -hmm. and on and on. And I can remember I was watching something and the young lady was doing praise and worship in a bikini. In a what? In a bikini. Mm. Say that again. In a bikini. Mm. She was doing praise and worship. Oh. And I remember thinking, <laughs> not to criticize not not anybody, funny. but I said, Lord, where are our leaders? You know, where are the mothers? Well, it was the leaders that get had up there. Right. That's where right. are the teachers to say that this is not okay? You know, and then, you know, I said, well, God, I, you know, <laughs> I've been very fortunate to have been taught. But obviously this lady was this young woman was not taught. I thought I didn't hear. You right. Well. Okay. Right. Wasn't taught. And so that's just one incident incident. And I said, God, we have to get back out there and we have to teach. We have to teach what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. We have to teach what your word says and what it means because God's words doesn't change. That's right. You know, it Excuse means this, me. Uh -huh. Do you mean a bikini like you go swimming in? Yes, ma'am. A bikini. <laughs> uh, well, I heard right then. A bikini. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I, yeah. I said, <laughs> and that's just one of the things, you know, okay, what I mean? and I'm not yeah. picking on this young lady, anybody who saw that. I'm just right. saying mm -hmm. that we have to go back and we have to teach. Yes. what's appropriate mm -hmm. and what's not appropriate because God has a standard. And again, I'm not putting this young lady down. Anybody else saw the video because obviously she has not been taught. 
And so we have to get back out there and we have to teach the truth of God's word, because I know when I was coming along, they did not compromise. They told you, look, it's either heaven or hell. That's the only two choices you have. Mm. And they taught us what that word means. And that word means the same yes. today, yesterday and forever. All right. And once someone mm -hmm. teaches her that it is an honor Mm -hmm. to be able to give God praise and honor out mm -hmm. there. Do and say to her, do you feel like you're giving him praise and honor in a bikini? Mm -hmm. Well, that's another long story. That, and that, yeah, because oh, no. she might say yes. But again, that's but where we come to in to teach, teach them and to train. Now I watched another um I forget what I was watching, but it was the choir's anniversary mm -hmm. and the choir was singing and someone was in the middle twerking. They were doing what? When you say twerking, twerking and shaking your, as my grandmother say, your money maker. Okay. Okay. And I said, God, you Ooh. know, I'm saying this to say that where we have fallen short and that we need to get back the mothers, the leaders, those of us that are seasoned and just to teach. And not just our young people, just, you know, people in general, we need to go back out and we need to teach. And then we have to be the example. We can't be out doing these things and then you're trying to right. teach somebody exactly. else. That's the fact. So we have yeah. to watch exactly. our walk. Right? That's the fact. Because then they're not going to accept it. Why should I listen to you if you just came out the club? Right. Did you see you know what I'm like, saying? Did and you I saw you come YouTube? out the club. Right. So right. we have to teach. So we thank God for our mothers and for our seasoned mm -hmm. um, mothers and teachers because they have the wisdom now. And now I believe that through the years that now I have developed the wisdom mm -hmm. to go out and to, you know, and to teach, teach, someone else. teach someone else. Well, first of all, and I must say this publicly mm -hmm. uh, because of the teaching, first mm -hmm. of all, mm -hmm. uh, did you see that on YouTube? I saw it. Uh, what was I watching? Oh, because... Mm -hmm. Maybe they were trying to win souls or whatever. You had to be careful with that, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but um, no disrespect. But mm -hmm. first of all, uh, it, they call me Mother Witherspoon. Mm -hmm. That would never appear in my presence. Mm -hmm. Right. You That's the difference. What That's what I mean. That's the so, difference. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I, I don't have to win nobody like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, it has truly been a pleasure having you as our guest on Thank today, you. Mm -hmm. as always, you are always full of knowledge and we can always learn from you. Mm -hmm. And I have enjoyed, you know, just spending this little bit of time with you as well mm -hmm. as with my co-host, Dr. You. Lois. And we have a good time here at Sister Strengthening Sisters. Um, this is your home. Always feel welcome. You have anything coming up. So you're welcome to come Thank back you. and talk about it. If you have something that you want to talk about concerning what's going on in the church, you are welcome to come here and talk about it. Thank you. And, there we, you. and we are going to do, Mother, we are going to do a round table. Yes, and we so are. we will definitely have you back. You will be on that panel. Okay. <laughs> God willing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. There you've heard Sister Strengthening Sisters talk show with myself, Lady D, along with my co host Dr. Lois L., and none other than the beautiful Mother Juanita Witherspoon. Thank you. This has truly been an honor. Be sure to join us on the next time for more of Sister Strengthening Sisters Talk Show. We want you to have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And remember, God loves you, and so do we. Be blessed. God bless you. You've been listening to Catch the Fire TV, CTF TV, a place where gospel and God's word is heard.